Deep in the middle of the Western Indian Ocean, a vast marine wilderness awaits those who venture below the surface. These waters touch the shorelines of eastern and southern Africa and its islands. Two large oceanic currents interact here, the Agullis and Somali currents, influencing the region's climate and biological processes, keeping everything balanced. Over millions of years, intricate food chains evolved, almost magical in their complexity. Closer to the shores, coral reefs emerge from the blue. The coral reefs of the Western Indian Ocean are among the most diverse habitats in the world. 350 species of coral alone, with unparalleled productivity, variety, color, and specialized niche adaptations. The Western Indian Ocean is also home to a large human population. About 58 million people rely directly for their needs and often their very survival on the ocean. It is estimated that the value of goods and services provided by the coastal and marine environment in countries such as South Africa amounts to approximately 35% of the gross domestic product. For small island states like Mauritius, Comores and the Seychelles, this proportion is even higher. The most significant change has been the rapid increase in population. Today, the coastal zone contains most major cities, harbors, industries and other socio-economic infrastructure. More people quite simply means higher pollution loads from domestic and industrial sources. This development has gone hand in hand with large-scale habitat degradation and deforestation to make place for the new settlements and provide firewood and building materials. There are also pressures from outside of the system, like climate change. Even a small rise in seawater temperatures can have devastating effects on corals. The first noticeable impact of climate change to the coral reefs in the region was observed in 1998. Up to 95% of corals died in some areas, following an episode of rapid warming. Sea level rise has led to increased coastal erosion and threatens vulnerable small island states in particular. Recognizing that the impacts of pollution and habitat degradation do not confine themselves to national boundaries, the 10 governments of the region joined forces to address key challenges of managing the coastal and marine environment. Their common agreement, known as the Nairobi Convention, now governs action for the protection, management and development of the marine and coastal environment of the eastern and southern African region. Addressing the challenge of marine resources, marine ecology and indeed the sustainable use of the marine realm has increasingly become the focus of international assessments, of scientific studies and increasingly also of initiatives by individual countries but more importantly by groups of nations and indeed the international community. UNEP, as the Secretariat of the Nairobi Convention, has actively supported the efforts of governments in eastern and southern Africa to develop better and more sustainable approaches for management of their common ecosystems. One such initiative developed and implemented by UNEP through the framework of this convention is the project titled Addressing Land-Based Activities in the Western Indian Ocean, widely known as the WIOLAB project. The project, funded by the Global Environment Facility, the government of Norway and UNEP as well as the participating countries themselves, was designed to assist governments in the Western Indian Ocean region to build capacity for addressing these challenges. WIOLAB's aim is not only to bring increased awareness of the need to address land-based sources of pollution and habitat degradation, but also provide practical examples of how this can be done. This vision is supported by three main themes – clean waters, healthy habitats and wisely managed river basins, as well as a cross-cutting theme of effective stakeholder cooperation in addressing transboundary challenges. 
It is believed that in the long run, this concerted approach by governments will guarantee the sustainable enjoyment by the people living in the region of the invaluable goods and services provided by the Western Indian Ocean ecosystems.